Hi there. It's um, nice and windy today, but it's sunny, so that's really good. And um, I was thinking earlier on, oh, what am I going to do a video about today? Because I haven't done them every single day for the last few weeks. And I wanted to have that discipline where I was going to do them every single day for at least a year. Um, just because it was going to push me, test me, and also hopefully whatever I share with others will be something of benefit and of use to them. Yeah, so that's really why. Um, so anyway, I didn't really know what I was going to say. And um, I've been to the gym this morning, had my fruit salad, and was tidying up when my dog came over to uh, talk to me. And... Uh, and he was telling me that he would very much like some frankincense. Now, I've got friends that will understand what I'm saying when I say this because they either are um, a practitioner of applied zoopharmacognosy or they work with essential oils, uh, doing aromatherapy, or they might be in some sort of holistic practice with animals. A lot of my friends are. Um, <clears throat> so they will know that this is quite normal. Um, so anyway, he told me that he would like some frankincense and I have it beside the bed. Um, I always keep frankincense close by um, and I thought aha I shall talk about frankincense because I don't think I've spoken about it yet and yet it's so brilliant so I don't know why I haven't spoken about it yet. So I'll just show this is the one that I use. It's um, organic has to be organic. You must not buy anything that isn't organic. You must make sure that it's uh, organic because you don't want to get something that says perfumed or something like this because it's likely it's got synthetic ingredients if it has and you don't need that. Seriously, you need to make sure it's as natural as possible and organic so no chemicals or fertilizers or any weird stuff that's been put into it. Um, so organic. It will either say frankincense or sometimes it will say boswellia on it um, and in this case it has both on there. Now you can also take it in three different ways. You can take it um, by inhaling which is the way that I do it and the way that my dog asks for it. It's the way that the um, applied soup pharmacognosy practitioners also offer it to animals. In fact, it's the most empowering way to offer it to an animal and to a human, in fact, because then you're only getting the right dosage for you. You're not taking more than you actually need. And that's something that to be mindful of. Just because something's good for you doesn't mean you should take too much. There is a limit of how much you should take. So, so anyway, um, you can inhale it. That's the first way. The other way is um, <clears throat> by rubbing it on your body. Now, you wouldn't rub it naturally, just straight out from the bottle onto your body, you would put it into an oil. There's lots of different oils, carrier oils that you could use. Again, use an organic one. I use coconut oil for pretty much everything. So if I ever do that, it would be in coconut oil. Um, although I tend to just inhale it. I did go through a stage of taking it in capsule form until my very beautiful friend, uh, Vince the Vet, who's a holistic vet, very brilliant um, vet as well, told me of how capsules are made and why you benefit more from avoiding capsules. So either go with dry herbs and things like this or crowned up or homeopathy but when you take a capsule then it has gone through a chemical process or has gone some, through some process in the manufacturing of it where it's been placed together and the machines that are used to place those pills together will have to be treated, will have to be cleaned, will have to be coated in something in order for them to work. And that's the thing that you need to be mindful of. And the shell itself, what the ingredients inside the shell might be pure, organic and wonderful, but it's the actual shell and the manufacturing process that you want to be wary of. So anyway, my little dog this morning said to me he would very much like some of this frankincense oil. So when you offer frankincense oil to a dog, and when I take it myself, 
I just take off the cap like so and for me I hold it up close and I just inhale it for as long as I need to until I start to feel better. There's lots of different ways that I take it for different things that is and for my dog he also takes it for different things. I know that because he's told me but there are different ways where a dog would take this. One of them is for pain and in his case today he asked for this as a pain relief and he actually took in quite a bit of it. You can tell when they need it. You don't obviously put it on them, you don't put it right in their face, you offer it to them at a distance. So say for example I'm him, I'm the dog. Imagine that and then just you would have it at about about here. It's so hard to tell in the video. So um, he was just inhaling that and um, he took in a good amount and then I left it at the side for him open and then when he'd had enough he just moved but he was literally next to it for about I don't know 20 minutes. That might not seem so long it could be long, he could have stayed longer. In fact, he wanted to follow me to the next room. So, um, anyway, that's that's the stuff. That's really, really good. And, you know, it's it's a great healing tool. This is why I use it. It's, um, it's, just, it's just brilliant. It really makes you feel better. So, for example, if you <coughs> are feeling unwell, if you're feeling a bit sick, a bit nauseous, this is going to do it. If you feel like you've got some pain in your body, this is going to do it. If you feel just slightly like you need some focus or you need some inspiration, some motivation, some encouragement, this will do it. This will do it. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling fearful, worried, this will help. This will do it. And you see, that's the thing. It's like this vibrates at a frequency that is able to get to the limbic system, which basically speaks to the nervous system. And because of that, it does amazing things. So this vibrates at a very wonderful rate. It's amazing. It communicates with the limbic system and the limbic system with dogs. I can't speak with other animals because I've never used it with any other animals. I don't think you should use it with cats as far as I know, but I might be wrong. But certainly with dogs, yes, it can be used. And with humans. And uh, if you don't already have it, get some. Get some organic stuff and put it in your natural therapy toolkit in your house because you will benefit from having it there. And it's brilliant. So, um, five ways that I use it for, um, apart from obviously using it for my dog as well, is the first one I would say is like if I'm feeling a bit sick, feeling a bit nauseous, like a little bit like not quite myself, then I'll reach for this and I will inhale it. So um, I usually have a few bottles of this, one in my handbag, one in my um, beside my bed and also one in my sponge bag and um, so yes it's it's a great astringent and it's very cleansing very detoxifying uh, to the body so you know it will make you feel much much better so that's definitely one of the first reasons why I use it um, a second reason why I would use it is because it stimulates your memory and it helps you to focus. Now I don't know if there's any scientific proof on that, I should imagine there probably is because I'm quite sensitive to how things work in your body because I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke, What the things I put into my body are quite, quite pure. So when you do that you're much more sensitive to things like this and how they work and how they feel for you. But for me if I have some of this, then I feel a lot more energised, I feel a lot more motivated, and I'm able to focus and write and do the things that I have to do with work. 
Um, so <clears throat> try that out for yourself, it might be different, I mean, I don't know, but for me, certainly, it really helps me to focus. Uh, the third reason why I use this is because it helps balance hormones. Now, um, if you want fertility to be increased, then yay, this is going to work, this is going to help you. But also, in my case, you don't necessarily want to be all fertile and stuff, you want to balance your oestrogen, so this really, really helps. Um, it's really good, and for that reason, yes, you want to have some of this. <laughs> um, yeah, so the fourth reason, as I said before, is pain, because of my dog, it was certainly for pain relief. So, um, by inhaling frankincense, you will feel reduced pain in your body. So if you have joint pain, if you have a headache, if you have pain anywhere in your body, like period pain, whatever the pain might be, you will find it significantly reduces from inhaling this. You can also apply um, some oil onto your body in a carrier oil, onto the area that is painful on a joint for instance. Uh, you do want to be careful with animals because they should, they, they could lick it off and obviously you want to really empower them so that they can choose how much they want so I would personally just stick to offering it to them but um, you know it's just it's just so that you know that you could put it directly onto your animal if you needed to be careful obviously on what area you would put it on um, in a carrier oil, but it's better to offer it to them and let them self-select that themselves. But um, if you have like an ankle sprain or something like that, mix it up with some coconut oil, a few drops of it, and then just rub it around that area and it would really, really work. So <clears throat> great for pain, brilliant pain relief. And finally, and this is very important for healing, and especially for the fact that, you know, I had breast cancer and I went down the majority of the way down the natural route. And this is the natural route. I did have surgery and I did just undergo some radiotherapy. Um, but this is a natural cancer killer. So you want to be taking this if you have been diagnosed with anything and you also want to be aware that if you do go down the route of taking chemo this will actually be really really beneficial to use the other good thing to know about this is that it also helps to protect healthy cells so not only will it protect your healthy cells it will kill bad cancer cells so all hail frankincense it's a wonderful wonderful oil <clears throat> Boswellia, wonderful stuff, really good. And, um, yeah, don't really, I mean, there's probably could say more on it, but that's probably enough. So, thank you very much for watching, and um, have a beautiful day, and enjoy the sunshine if it's out. And be sure to pick up some organic frankincense oil. And I should also just say thank you to my dog Boo Boo for giving me the inspiration of what to talk about today. Thank you Boo Boo.